I don't know how to start this video. I'm sure some of you guys have already heard if you follow me on social media. But guys, I am super excited to announce that we did it. We are officially partnered with G Fuel. And no, it's not a joke. We got a bunch of stuff to unbox from G Fuel right here. I mean, first and foremost, guys, I want to thank you all so much. I mean, there's a reason I said I'm not partnered with G Fuel. I said we're partnered with G Fuel because, guys, I wouldn't have done it without you. There's no fucking shot. But with that being said, guys, you can now officially use code Wyatt's World on GFuel.com to save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. Actually, right now, I think it's 30%, but uh, on to the video. All right, what is up guys and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a little bit different because I can't play Madden. Well, I can just starting tomorrow. My Elgato USB 3.0 cord, I don't know how, but it got fucking mangled and I had to order a new one. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a much requested tour slash overview of my gaming setup slash gaming dungeon. And then we're going to end the video with me unboxing the stuff from G Fuel for anybody that wants to stick around for that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to start at the top of my stairs and let's get started with the video. Okay, so this is like the shot I see every morning when I get to walk down to my computer. Isn't it pretty? So we walk down right away. There's a poster on the wall right here. I thought it was CCR because it was a small picture, so I bought it. Turns out it was Cheech and Chong, but that's fine. Uh, I got a random pair of shoes for when it's really muddy outside. Some firewood, a uh, backpack and stuff that I'll show in a later video, but that's for all my equipment. Got a poster of my favorite movie ever, The Breakfast Club, sitting right there so I get to see it first thing in the morning. By the way, the reason I have movie posters down here is because it makes it feel a little bit less like a dungeon and a little bit more roomy. So I guess we'll start with the stuff over here because none of this fucking matters. This is all a bunch of weights that I used to use when the gyms were closed during COVID. A ton of towels right there that are clean and just I haven't brought no stairs. Uh, I got the roommate's bike, some random boxes, my Instapot, which is a lifesaver. My dog's kennel that I haven't had to open in over a year because he's a very good boy. And then on this side, we got a washer, we got a dryer, a sink, my golf clubs. Uh, I'm not finished completely cleaning down here yet, so we got a bunch of just miscellaneous stuff. And then we got this corner or thing underneath the stairs, I guess, which is what I have been cleaning. And it's getting, it's getting there, but it's just not there yet. Basically, I'm trying to do what I don't want to have to do when I move, and that's just go through everything and throw everything away. So I'm doing it now. All right, and now for the uh, living quarters. So right here, this is my little living room, I guess. Uh, we got a chair that I bought from Target like eight years ago. We got this little footrest thing with a blanket in case I get cold when I'm, you know, just chilling, playing Nintendo Switch or whatever it may be. So you guys can see, uh, I got Netflix on right now. Just kind of had it on in the background earlier today, but I got my Switch here, and then the console's hooked up back there. I don't get to sit here and play a whole lot. Like it doesn't happen every day, but there are certain days where I have like an hour to kill and I just don't know what to do. So I just chill down here and play games or watch Arrested Development or whatever I'm watching right now. I think this is Arrested Development. If anybody's uh, wondering what I've been playing on Switch, it's uh, Zelda and it's amazing. All right, and uh, next I guess we'll do the back of the living room, I guess. Uh, this is basically just a bunch of shit, I'm not gonna lie. Got a Jaws poster because I love the old horror movies. I uh, got my chair that I'm going to use when I move probably, but I just don't have any use for it right now. And the reason I don't use it here is because if I sit in that chair and I don't have my legs on the ground, it just turns me around. I don't know why. Uh, we got some jeans because I put shorts on. It's 70 degrees outside. Uh, the infamous NFL hospital therapy whatever shirt. I don't know. The infamous NFL TikTok shirt. It's in like 95% of my videos. Uh, we got some cardboard because we like to have fires here and it's great for fire starters. Uh, this box in the middle, I honestly, it started off as a box for other boxes, and then I just ended up just throwing everything in it. Uh, mini fridge that I haven't had to use. Pretty dirty, and it really stinks. It's been sitting here for like a year. Uh, shower curtain I was going to use as a possible tablecloth. I didn't need to. Got some electronic wipes, a couple hats, a change cup right here. And then this is just like random cords that have been organized. And then I got like some tools, like a plier and a knife, and just some random shit there. And then some Logitech speakers that I just don't use because they're a pain in the ass to set up. And then panning over to what you guys probably want to see, which is my little corner slash area. So I basically made my own L desk by buying two really shitty tables. You know, the tables that you see at any garage sale ever. You got my wallet, which I'll put in my pocket right now. Uh, we've got a candle. Don't judge me. Sorry, I like things to smell good. Fuck off. Plus, I'm in a brick basement. It smells like a goddamn gas leak all the time down here. Uh, Bluetooth speaker. I like to listen to music a lot when I'm editing or cleaning or just kind of hanging out. Got the PlayStation 4 on the back here with some games, and then this is my mixer. I'll go into that more when I sit down. And then right here, which is how I light myself, is my 12-inch, like, I don't know, a ring light, I guess is what it's called. And then, yeah, I can clip my phone in there if I want to do any hands-free shots, but typically I don't do those. 
All right, so first off, these are honestly just black curtains that are hanging on the wall, as you guys can see there by my awesome handiwork. Uh, we got my chair, which is a GTR racer. It's a really good chair, just the arms fell off of it, and uh, I kind of need a new one now, but it's gotten me through the years and I don't have any complaints about it. All right, so up here we got my laptop that's always on my left in this big open area. Uh, it's really good for answering emails, and whenever I upload a TikTok to YouTube, I do it through my laptop because it's just 10 times easier than hooking my fucking phone up to my computer. Uh, also, this laptop is crucial whenever I'm not home because I need it to upload anything. Uh, this is my first monitor. This is an Asus. It's a gaming monitor. I, I don't know the specs on it. I'm sure it's not the best, and I'm sure you have a better one. So if you want to tell me you have a better monitor than me, go fuck yourself. And we come over to my other monitor. This was my first monitor. This one is just a crappy Dell monitor. Uh, it's better than gaming on a TV, but as far as refresh rate and everything goes, it's not any better than like this or anything like that. Right here, we got my mix amp from Astro. Uh, this thing is only really used whenever I'm playing a PlayStation game, but streaming off of my computer, because that's the only way I can get audio from both in this headset at the same time. However, when I'm not playing PlayStation, I typically use this headset. This is a SteelSeries Arcticavis 7, I think. I don't know how the fuck to pronounce it. It's a really good headset and I like it a lot. Completely wireless, surround sound, I don't know, man. This is the best headset I've ever had in my life. Uh, we got a Blue Yeti microphone here. This is a hell of an upgrade from the Snowball I had, although it does get super sensitive at certain areas. I'm sure you guys have heard that. We got my Razer Huntsman, that's my keyboard. Uh, it's an okay keyboard. I definitely liked the Ducky 1-2 a little bit better, but this one's okay. It's just so fucking loud. Yeah, bro, I didn't order a typewriter. I wanted a fucking keyboard. And right next to my keyboard, we have my mouse, which is the Logitech G502 Hero. Uh, it's a great mouse too. I've never, ever had a problem with it. And lastly, we come up to the camera and it's just the Logitech 1080p webcam. I don't know anything else about it. Personally, I think it's a great webcam. I don't know what you guys think, but it's gotten the job done for me a hell of a lot better than my old camera did. And I guess we got one more thing. This is my dog's first collar from when he was a puppy. Uh, I found it when I was cleaning out the basement and I don't want to throw it away, so I'm going to keep it up here. And uh, yeah, so that's basically my gaming setup slash basement slash dungeon setup. And on to the G Fuel unboxing. All right, guys, and now we are back behind the computer station. We're ready to start the unboxing. So I actually ended up getting in contact with a guy named Cortez from G Fuel, and he actually told me that they had a file created for me a couple months ago, but they just lost it. So I thought that was super funny, and I wasn't mad or anything like that, man. It's better late than never. I'm just happy to be where I am. Oh, shit. Okay, so the first box, it looks like they sent me all kinds of stuff. Let's check it out. Oh, there's an actual invoice. I'm not going to read it because I want to be surprised. <laughs> what the fuck? They sent me about a hundred packs right here. All right, so I guess we'll open this up and see what we got. Oh, fuck. Okay, so they sent me a double starter pack. That's pretty cool. All right, so first off, we got two packets of Grape G Fuel. I have not had this yet, and I'm excited to try it because I've heard it's elite. We got two packets of Nemesis Tea Flavor. I have not had that, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what the fuck to think of it. Nemesis Tea? Oh, like seriously, I didn't know that this flavor existed. I'm trying to figure out what it might be by looking at it, and I can't tell, so we're gonna have to find out one way or another. They sent me two packets of Sour Phase Berry. I have not tried that one either. It's like we got a couple packets of Hype Sauce. I have not tried this one. Uh, guys, I haven't actually tried any of these. Adding on to the Hype Sauce, we got two packets of Battle Juice, which I have been excited to try because everybody shits on pineapple and I fucking love pineapple. I bet you this is goddamn delicious. We got two packets of Bubble Gum. This is a flavor that I'm terrified to try, dude. Oh. I feel like it's gonna taste like bubblegum mouthwash, but we'll give it a whirl. I bet you it's pretty good. Another part of my partnership with G Fuel guys is that I can say whatever I want. They want me to be honest and I wanna be honest. And last for the packs, we got Black on Blackberry. I have had the original, but I guess this is a completely new formula since they took um him off the cover. I don't know. I don't wanna lose my partnership on the first day by saying something I shouldn't. Rest in peace to the king. Next thing out of the box, it looks like they sent me a bunch of what the hell? I don't know what this is. It's a bunch of different uh, energy crystals. What the fuck are these things? Do we put them in water? Uh, we'll figure it out here, but we got blackberry. We got sour cherry. That's a flavor I haven't had in forever. We got blue ice, one of the OG flavors. We've got some green apple, not my favorite flavor of things, but we'll try it. Looks like we got some sour blue chug rug. And lastly, we've got some phaseberry energy crystals. Now, I don't know what these are. Oh, it's candy. I'm fucking stupid. So we'll give this a nice little cut. We can try this shit right now because I want to know what it's all about. Oh, fuck. It smells good. Oh, shit. This is like Pop Rocks. ASMR warning. Oh, this is elite. These are delicious, by the way. 
Holy shit, why did I not know about these? These are fucking fantastic. We gotta try another flavor of them, hold up. Let's try the green apple ones. Okay, this one just exploded everywhere. All right, green apple energy crystals. Oh boy, it's sour. These aren't bad either. They just taste like a green apple Jolly Rancher. I just don't like green apple. And it looks like they sent me one more thing in the small package and that is a shaker cup who I believe that this is PewDiePie. I'm not entirely certain. I don't know. I fucking needed a new cup. So I'm ecstatic that they sent me this. My cups have been shot to hell. And we got the big box. So, it's like G Fuel sent me another shaker cup. Thank you guys. I think this one is just the whiteout. I don't know. It's clean as fuck though. I really like it. I'm a big fan of when you can see the color of the liquid through the cup. So this is fucking sweet. All right. It looks like they sent me three tubs and some cans. I think we'll show the cans first. So these are cans. I don't know what flavor they are though. This isn't coming off like I thought it would. There we go. Oh shit. This is the new, uh, well, I don't know if it's new anymore. I haven't had it yet, but it's the sour blue chug rug cans. I have the powder, it's one of my go-to flavors actually, so I'm super excited to try this out. I'm not gonna try them this video because I wanna review something else this video, but we will get to these one day. All right, and then lastly, we got three tubs of G Fuel that they sent me, and one of them I have been dying to try forever. All right, so the first of the three flavors we got is Rainbow Sherbet. Very pumped up to try this one too. I bet you this one's gonna be delicious. We have a flavor that I have no idea about. I didn't know it existed. It is Phase X. No idea what this could be. Uh, it's red and black. Maybe it could be like a strawberry or something. I'm really, really not sure. But I look forward to trying it. I bet you it's good. I'm really, really curious too, but I don't want to look it up because that would spoil the fun for me. And last but not least, the flavor that I have been dying to try since I started drinking G Fuel about three years ago. Strawberry shortcake. Look guys, I've heard great things. I've heard horrible things. I've heard you need to use water. I've heard you need to use milk. This has my name written all over it. It looks like something I'm going to absolutely love, but I'm just not sure about it. So we're going to fucking try it right now. All right, so I got my cup. We're going to go with milk because I think milk sounds a lot better. I don't know if strawberry shortcake and water sounds so good. And we got the strawberry shortcake. That was pretty cool. You see, I've heard that a couple other flavors are really good with milk too. Uh, one of them is moon pie. And then I think the coffee one people said is a lot better with milk too. You always got to flick the lid to make sure the powder comes off of it. Okay, so the powder is insanely pink. It's like raging... God damn it. Anyway, the powder is like the color of raging gummy fish. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm not spilling any more of it. Oh shit, it smells exactly like a strawberry cream saver, if you know what I'm talking about. Exactly like a strawberry cream saver. I haven't had one of those in forever. Do they still make those? Those were elite. For anybody that doesn't know what a strawberry cream saver smells like, imagine strawberry ice cream. Pretty close to that. All right, looks like we got a good scoop there. This will be the first ever fucking Wyatt's World G Fuel review, so you guys are witnessing history right now. Forgot that milk just foams the fuck up, honestly. I might have just fucked this. All right, anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and try it. So I know to you guys this looks completely white, but it's actually really, really bright pink. It looks exactly like a ball of cotton candy, as color-wise, at least. Matter of fact, now it smells exactly like a strawberry ice cream sundae. All right, fuck it, let's do it. You always gotta have a second impression before you say anything about it. I don't know what the fuck I was so scared about. This is probably one of the best flavors I've had yet. And I'm not just saying that, and that could obviously change in the next week, because I can guarantee you I'm going to drink this for a week straight. Tastes like a strawberry milkshake from McDonald's. That is identically what this tastes like. 100%. I think it would probably be better if I let it kind of settle down a little bit, because all the milk is down here. By the way, I'm not just going to give out 10s. That shit don't fucking happen. You guys ever seen El Presidente from Barstool? That man knows what he's talking about with number 10. But strawberry shortcake, I'm gonna give it like an 8.6. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's damn close to it. This is one of the best flavors I've tried yet. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. First and foremost, G Fuel. Thank you so much, Cortez especially, for sending me all this stuff and hooking me up with the sponsorship, guys. I look forward to this longtime partnership, and I am certain that we will be partners for a long time. As far as the Wyatt's World community goes, you guys know I love you, and I thank you guys endlessly, and I don't want you guys to get tired of it, so I'm not gonna say it again. Uh, as far as my usual videos and Madden and everything like that, I think we'll be back to normal starting tomorrow as long as that cord comes in the mail. If you guys like this video, you already know what to do. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, tell everybody about Wyatt's World and that now he's partnered with G Fuel. But with that being said, guys, you have a terrific rest of your night and I will see you in the next video.